This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Here we go now. Three, and with the play three. clock reading four, three, we're going to get a timeout. Three. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third gun, down gun. and six. Gun, gun. Off the play fake, Fisher. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Martin, the punter now, out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Throwing on first down. Rivera finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me. That's caught at the 25. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Rivera. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Looking to throw, Fisher. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The Lions into the red zone for the first time. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. And they'll run it here. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll give it to him up the middle. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Lions add on to their lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Martin, the putter now, out to kick it away. 
This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores. But the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. On first and 10, Rivera. And a big loss here as he's taken down. He probably feels like he cannot get a break. He was sacked seven times last week. And here we go again in the first quarter. And we always talk about the internal clock of a quarterback in the pocket and how he has to have a real keen sense of it in order to get rid of the football. After being sacked seven times last week, that clock has been sped up. The sack, they come up on a second and very long. Hey, 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 hey. Back to throw. Rivera. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. Detroit! Detroit! Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Cut. Throwing on third and long. Rivera taking a shot for Samuel. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. And Detroit getting set to go now. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Leopard! Leopard! And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's got Rome. The 20! A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short game... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. In for the score. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. 
They said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good. As, that is as good as you can do, I guess. So, well done. Yeah, well done indeed. Tremendous execution. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Carolina getting set to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still right, the first half. Look I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also Lumber. don't have to Lumber. go ahead and force everything either. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right, they're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. He'll get three up to midfield. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there's the pickup you want on first down. All offenses say, you get me four on first down, we'll take it. How about if you get five? They'll really be happy. Inside the 10 at the 8. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they call the field general. <laughs> They'll run with Chubb. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive Barney, Barney. coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. They get it to him running left. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Gano the extra point, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. It's a foot race. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. All right, let's give credit where credit is due. How about that return? Great blocking. The only person who has to be upset, the guy who didn't get it into the end zone. That far and no reward. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. McManus's point after is good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now they'll run it on the toss. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Looking to throw on second down. Rivera. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Three scores down. Not even a halftime yet. They had not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes and they're getting at them. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Got his target, Samuel. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. The cornerback, it's Logan Ryan who brings him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Gone, 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 gone. To throw on second down. Rivera, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Over, 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 over. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage. 
Brought down at the 32. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. Vance Joseph making his mark. His guys will go on fourth down. Fourth down, Rivera. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like... <laughs> On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On the carry, it's Muhammad. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Gun, Leverage, gun. athleticism, gun, gun. they created some nice space for him. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! All right, man, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah. From the gun on third down. Rivera toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. A give. This is Chubb, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Ohio, Ohio. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. This is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. It's not a bad idea. Set up in the gun. Send a bunch of guys out wide and let the defense think you're going to try and put one in the end zone. But here, the draw play just gets bottled up from the start, and he'll wind up losing yardage. On third down, that's Wilson. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout. Yeah, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all oh, the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Just get out of there. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up gun, on first gun, and ten. Gun, gun! Detroit! Detroit! A final shot before break. Fisher. He's going to let this one go deep. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top.
As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. This is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time Detroit, and then running Detroit. to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! Here's Muhammad, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. So after that stop, you know the third down is not a give me if you're on the offensive team. So what are you going to do? Run it again, or maybe you go play action and try and throw the ball and pick up the necessary yardage. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another Detroit! first down. Detroit! They pitch it to Chubb, trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. On the tackle, it was Dane Crookshank. They're losing here in the third quarter, maybe trying to get the ball outside, bust a big play. Obviously, didn't work there. Yeah, and while it didn't work, it, I really can't fault them for trying it. You and I have talked to the offensive coordinator, and we knew that that was a place they wanted to try and go, and sometimes you just have to stick with it. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Following the penalty, Chum. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Rivera, left side, it's Dorsett. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, right, now, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. From the gun on third down, Rivera throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. As his guys are in for six, and the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. 
So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call the put away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way. And I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you bet you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Off the play fake. Fisher. He's going to air one out. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Throwing again on second and 10. Fisher, and he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. The Lions on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be a tough third Green, and 18. Green, From the gun, Fisher. He's going to air one out. He's got it with the 15. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead. And remember, Parker, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. That three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They begin this drive with Chubb. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. They'll run with Muhammad. And some room to run now. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll make it second and 12. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of two, now third down. Throwing on third and long. Rivera is going to fire. It's caught inside the 25. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. 
Extra point try, good by Gano. And that will get him one closer. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And, it, and there he goes again. He's at the 40, past the 20. Let's get credit where credit is due. How about that return? Great blocking, great vision, all the way down to the two-yard line. The only person who has to be upset, the guy who didn't get it into the end zone. That far and no reward? Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. On first down, Rivera caught on the right side by Dorsett. And they'll get him down here at the 23. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56 to throw on second down. Rivera, throw right side is gonna be caught by Samuel. And he'll get this up to the 34 yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. This quarterback now, pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. Off play action. Rivera. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Dane Crookshank. And his guys are going to get the football. After this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage. They've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Off the play fake, Fisher. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. But I believe the Lion was there to recover it. Yes, they will indeed keep possession. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback, the ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Oh, they haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. The Lions on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and forever. Operating from the gun, Fisher escaping the pressure, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Luke Keekly in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Carolina getting set to take the field. Gone, 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 gone! 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he finds a man on a crossing route. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Detroit! Detroit! Throwing on first down. Rivera. They'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. 12 yards there as they move the chains. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run it now out of the gun. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, Rivera fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That's Samuel caught left side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Flushed out right. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They get it to him running left. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Gano the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. Analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. 
I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And on the ground they go with a running back. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. we got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. It's their quarterback. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. But as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Meanwhile, in Nashville, they're on to the fourth quarter now. And it was the Titans who were able to take home the victory. If they hold on, a victory there would be their third of the year. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Off play action, Rivera, now a desperation throw deep downfield. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. to throw again, Rivera. And his throw here's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. That one doesn't find its target, but all in all, he's been much sharper this week. He was under 50% a week ago, and now he's up over 70%. Well, you know it's standard for quarterbacks and receivers to get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice. I get the sense they got together for a lot of extra time this week to try and improve that passing percentage, and it's worked out quite well. Gone, 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 gone. Off the play fake, Rivera. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, Rivera. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Graves. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A solid pickup of 13, sets him up first and goal. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. 
But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead block. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Their mobile, agile quarterback. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. That's going to show it as a two-point conversion is successful. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to Blue none. Lining. Blue lining. Switch, switch, switch. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! That one looks like he'll throw here. And it's incomplete. Still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over.